Today I see so many young boys and young men growing up without a father, and sadly, men nowadays have no masculine role model or strong presence in the home because of their mothers. Make no mistake we all know that some of our fathers didn't want anything to do with us, and he was not present in our lives because of that. However, that's not true for most men, so we really have to dial it back and look at why so many of our homes are fatherless, and it all points back to one person, your mother. I know you guys love your mother, and she did the best she could to raise you until you were an adult, but a lot of you guys struggled all your life unnecessarily because of your mother and her selfish decisions. I want you guys to remember that in the United States, most women are single mothers, not in co-parenting or marriage. That means that your mother purposefully took the necessary steps to become a single mother, or we would have to believe that most men are deadbeats who don't want anything to do with their offspring, which is not true. So overwhelmingly, most women are choosing to put their kids at a disadvantage in the United States, but why? If your mom truly loved you and wanted the best for you, then wouldn't it make sense that she would put you in the best position possible? But what we see today are kids that are being raised in fatherless households and are at a significant disadvantage in becoming contributing members of society. So we must follow the logical path of putting the accountability on mothers for the reason why so many kids have to struggle and become a menace to society. And we have the data to back that up. Let's look at how all of this happened because your father also helped to create you. We all know that XXs control the access to sex and without her giving you consent, then it will be grape and you'd be at risk of being thrown in the gulag. So for the purpose of this video, we will eliminate XXs who were coerced into having a kid as the reason why they became single mothers. With that out of the way, we must all agree that modern women are very careless with their wet vice grip, and the guys they recycle and choose to give access to their bodies are typically men who don't want to settle down, marry, or become a father. They're not using their best years to look for good men who will be great fathers or at least willing to stick around and help raise the kids. Oh no, women tend to choose the worst men in terms of long-term relationships and to be their baby daddy. Why they do this is mind-boggling to me, but it is what it is. The thing with women that I've noticed is they have no problem finding the deadbeat guy with good genetics or money that doesn't want anything to do with them, and they are fantastic at choosing stepfathers to help clean up the mess they created. So with that logic, we can paint a clear image that women are choosing to get knocked up by Chad, Tyrone, Pookie, and Ray Ray, who don't want to be fathers. They want to give birth to Chad's seed and have his genetics, but they don't realize that having a kid for Chad doesn't mean he'll settle down, and she can use the kids to keep Chad all to herself. So many women use kids to trap the men they want, but because these men are not the settle-down type, he leaves her with the kid and goes on with his life to slay more hoes. This happens all the time, and we can dive a little bit further so you can realize that women are choosing to become single mothers. Every normal woman has a menstrual cycle that comes once per month, and in the cycle, she has a small window available where she'll be able to get pregnant. This is called ovulation, and it typically comes around 14 days before the start of the next menstrual cycle and lasts about 1 to 2 days. In that period, a woman might experience symptoms like abdominal pain or cramps, bloating, slightly elevated body temperature, changes in cervical mucus and saliva, breast tenderness, and becoming more sexual, if you know what I mean. Not only that, we have apps that can track a woman's menstrual cycle and accurately predict when she's likely to be able to ovulate and elevate her chances of becoming pregnant. Knowing all of that, am I to believe that women get pregnant by accident when they have the tools to help them predict when they are most likely to become pregnant, prevent pregnancy, and their bodies give them the warning signs? Men, in this day and age, no consensual pregnancy that leads to a kid is by accident. Your mother chose to take the risk of getting knocked up by your father when she was the most sexual and fertile, either to have fun and be reckless or to get knocked up purposefully. You guys better take heed and understand that women will try to get pregnant on you to keep you around if she sees you as valuable. And often, the men they choose to have their kids with are just men that have no interest in being a father and she effed up her life trying to baby trap a man. And we can go even deeper than that to show you that your mother was the problem. I know many of us don't want to admit this, but many of our moms were 304s and skeezers that were in these streets. Yeah, we just have to accept that was the case. With that said, some of our mothers were so reckless that she was taking salami from multiple men at the same time. Sometimes, it was a one-night stand or a casual fling, and your mother allowed one or a couple of them to shoot up the club, and she gave birth to you. So in essence, you were a mistake because of her dumbass decisions, and that's why today you're fatherless. She doesn't know who the father was since multiple men were pushing her inside to her esophagus before or when she was ovulating. So now you have to struggle because your mom couldn't stop writing Mans Johnson and being a 304.
People don't want to talk about this, but they have no problem painting men as deadbeats when it was your mother's fault. The next reason why women choose to become single mothers is that the system incentivizes them by offering the option of child support. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil, and ex-exes commit evil to their kids and partners all the time just so they can get some extra money, and depending on how economically attractive the father is, this amount can be a couple hundred to tens of thousands of dollars per month, and because women love money and resources, they have no problem destroying their families and their kids' future so they can get the bag. So you guys have your mothers to blame because she is purposefully restricting your dad's access to you and also poisoning your mind against him. After all, she benefits financially the less parenting time he receives. So you don't get to grow up with your father due to how selfish your mother is. And many fathers go through so much hell that some just choose to give up and stay out of their kid's life because it's not worth the stress and BS he has to go through just to see the kids. Worse than that are the mothers that place court orders on the dad, and he lives within minutes of his kids, and legally he can't even see his kid. That's your mother's fault, so unless you hear both sides of the story, do not assume your father didn't want to be in your life. A lot of the time, you just had a wicked and vindictive mother that used you to extract resources from your dad and put you through unnecessary hell just so she could line her pockets, go ride the carousel, and focus on her career. This happens every day and nobody ever tries to put the woman in her place and seek justice for the dad. So in most cases, you're in the position where you are because of your single mother who chose the struggle. She could have chosen a better mate that would have stuck around and raised his kids, but she didn't. She could have closed her legs and not let multiple men hit and bust up in her raw, but she didn't. And she most definitely didn't have to blow up the family to put your father on child support, but she did. So just understand that women are the cause of the high single mother rate because they are choosing to fornicate with low quality mates, and they are destroying their families to get resources because they love money more than how they love their kids. When you break it down, doesn't that seem evil to you? That is why I don't pedestalize my mother, and that will never happen after the pure hell she put me through, which up to this day, I'm still struggling to overcome. Speaking of overcoming, you men need to overcome the mindset that your mother is a princess warrior and your father is a deadbeat that abandoned you. Some of you got abandoned, yes, but whose fault was it? Many times your mother was the problem all along because she knew your father was not about that life of being a father. And sometimes your father indeed was a deadbeat dad that left you guys for dead. Other times your mother used you to get child support and government benefits to help patch your way through life by sacrificing you and your dad. Does this sound like someone you should hold in high regard and pedestalize when she made you struggle and suffer without stability and a masculine figure in your life? Some of you got abused or touched by the men she brought home to dig her guts out because you didn't have any protector and stability in the home. That is all on your mom, and she's the one to be blamed and held accountable for all you went through, more likely than not. So what am I trying to say? I'm telling you to ask your mother the tough questions to find out as close to the truth as possible or link up with your dad and ask him if you know where he is. And when you find out the details of who was the problem, hold who's the cause of the BS you had to go through responsible. So if your mom was the guilty one and she doesn't want to get on your program, then you're not obligated to take care of her or give her a damn thing later when she's older and needs someone to care for her. Let her understand that you owe her nothing because she screwed your life over so she can either abide by your rules or take care of herself. Some of you guys are cold. I know if you found out she was the problem throughout your childhood to adulthood, you cut her out of your life and rightfully so. You don't owe your mother anything. She's supposed to take care of you and prepare you to be an adult. You didn't ask her to be born, after all, so she's obligated to take care of you and most of them fail at doing that with how dumb and selfish they are. Now, if your father was the problem and the deadbeat, then you don't owe him anything either and you don't have to speak to him if you don't want to. I don't believe in rewarding bad behavior, so if he left without a good reason and never made an effort to reach out, try to have a relationship with you and be a part of your life, then you don't owe him a goddamn thing. As a matter of fact, if you don't want to speak to him after learning the truth, then don't. F him if he didn't want to take responsibility when your mom wasn't being a terrorist and do right by you, then why should you be the one to reach out and try to form a relationship? That's how I see it, but I would advise that all of you find out what really happened between your mother and your dad, which led you to be raised by your single mother, and just expect your mother to lie, so I would advise if you can find or speak to your dad if he's still alive, then do it. Knowing the truth will set you free, and it may either break or form relationships, but I think all men must overcome the trauma of being single mother raised, and the first step to finding out the truth is to ask your parents what the hell happened.
If you can't speak to your parents and you think you have unresolved problems holding you down, then it would be best to visit a therapist who actually wants to get their patients better and not keep them as recurring customers. Don't trust all therapists because not all of them want you to get better, so they can continue using you to line their pockets. So I want you guys to understand that your mother probably was the cause of all your pain and suffering, and your dad probably wanted to be in your life but couldn't due to how toxic your mom was. So keep in mind that not all dads are deadbeats. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to see more hard-hitting videos from us, and turn on the bell notifications or YouTube might not send you our videos. And if you want to learn how hard it is to be a man in today's world, then click the video on the screen right now to learn how tough men had it.